We woke up to the news this morning, the sad and distressing news about the grave situation in Haiti. It was uh, amplified with the very eloquent appeal of uh, the Holy Father this morning and his regular general audience. I went over to a St. Peter's Basilica uh, at noon today after hearing of this tragedy, and I spent some time in prayer in front of the Pieta. And I thought, Haiti, Haiti is the, the broken, uh, bloody body of Jesus. Uh, in the arms of his blessed mother, and crying out to the to the world now for aid and assistance. All this is aggravated, of course, because Haiti is already the poorest uh, country in the Western Hemisphere. So, so the cry the cry is desperate, and especially for us in the United States. Uh, first of all, the urgency of the gospel would compel us to help anybody, anywhere, anytime. But there's a special urgency and there's a special gravity here. We're talking about neighbors in Haiti. We're talking about a a population that is highly Catholic. We're talking about a population that we know and love because there's so many Haitian Catholics uh, in the United States. Uh, It's it's impossible to exaggerate the high power of prayer, all right? Uh, We've got a, a nearly impossible situation, but that's when God's grace and mercy comes through. And secondly, let's use the relief organizations that we have. There's no, there's no institution, institution, there's no organization on the face of the earth that is closer to the people than the Catholic Church. I've asked every pastor in the Archdiocese of New York to have a second collection and to storm the heavens for prayers for relief to the people of, of Haiti because we have got to come through. I don't think it's hyperbole to say that this would be analogous to what, uh, what we faced in the tsunami five years ago. And then again, remember the, the sterling work that Catholic Relief Services did and the phenomenal generosity and un- unfailing help of the Catholic people in the United States. So we can't let them down now. One of the reasons that Catholic Relief Services has such a, a, a kind of a leg up in this is because we don't parachute in in a disaster. We're there anyway. So we're on the scene. We know the terrain. We've got the trucks. We've got the supplies already. So CRS is always uh, your, your best source of, of hope and help in a situation like this. Even our American government will now has called Catholic Relief Services and said, "How can we help?" What our Catholic people can do is pray and uh, and please uh, sacrifice for these people who need us now more than ever.